Configuring the default settings in DCOM. This tutorial is created using Windows Server 2000. However, Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows NT have a similar process. Let's open the DCOM Config Utility from the Start menu. Click Start, then click Run. Now, type in dcomcnfg.exe, then click OK. As you can see, the Distributive Com Configurations Properties window is now open. It's broken into four different tabs at the top. Applications, Default Properties, Default Security, and Default Protocols. We're going to go ahead and start by clicking on the Default Properties tab. First, it's important to ensure that the checkbox next to Enable Distributive Com on this computer is checked. Without this box checked, DCOM won't be active on this computer. Now, let's go ahead and set the default authentication level. Click the drop down box and set the value to none. Now, let's set the default impersonation level. Once again, click on the drop box and this time we're going to select identify. Now, locate the tab called default security at the top of the screen. This allows us to set who has default access, launch, and configuration permissions for any application using COM or DCOM on the computer. Let's start by editing the default access permissions. So click Edit Default. In the registry value permissions, we want to ensure that a group of user names appears. Anonymous, Everyone, Guest, Interactive, Network, and System. Ensure that all of these accounts are set to Allow Access. If one of these accounts isn't already in the group or usernames list, then simply click on Add. Then you can search for the desired user or group. Click OK to close the window. We're going to edit the default launch permissions the same way by clicking Edit Default. Again, we're going to make sure that all of the user accounts in the previous default access permissions window are also listed here. This time, we want to make sure that Allow Launch is selected as their type of access. Then click OK. Now, let's edit the default configuration permissions the same way. Okay, once you're done, click Apply. Please note that these settings must be set on the server and the client machine for DCOM to work. For support, FAQs, or more information, please visit support.softwaretoolbox.com.